Here on the Mobile World Congress, Mozilla just announced Firefox OS, a new mobile operating system for smartphones. And with us is Christian Heidelmann from Mozilla. Uh, he has now um, his explanation uh, what the uh, uh, system is looking like. Please go ahead. All right, so what we have here is a Firefox OS phone. Firefox OS is an operating system that runs completely on HTML5, runs HTML5 applications, and is written in HTML5. This means anybody who's ever built something for the web can actually build an application for this without having to go through another learning curve of learning Java or learning other, any lang other languages. It works like any other smartphone. I've got my apps. I've got all the things that come out of the box that you expect. I've got Twitter. I've got Facebook. Sadly enough, we're offline right now, so I cannot show you how these things work because I can't get any data off the web. But I can show you a few things that work offline. So the interesting thing here is that I have anything that works like a normal phone. I can take my telephone. I can, I can dial my friends. I have a contact book that actually syncs with, with, with Facebook, so I can get all my Facebook information into the operating system without having to retype anything in. And I can share with my friends and start calling my friends that way. I can also play games. I've got a calendar. I've got a gallery. I've got my camera, calculator, all the things you would expect. The difference to other operating systems is that all of these things are HTML5 applications, which means they're actually much smaller than most of the applications you will get in Android. So when you when you ask to download 23 Mac, you will actually be asked to download one or two Mac here, which makes it much, much easier if you're on a bad connection or no connection as we are right now. If you want to know how much how much data you've used as a cost control center, so it tells you how much data you've used per day in case you're on a capped service or something like that. The other benefit is that I, I have a marketplace, much like I have a Google Play Store or an, uh, an, an, an iOS store, but I also can find applications on the web. As for HTML5, apps can be found much like websites and installed once and deleted when I don't want them anymore. So I don't have to go through the painful process of installing, updating and upgrading all the time. I can quickly try out an app, delete it when I don't want it anymore and that's totally fine. The operating system is meant to actually bring web connectivity to markets that cannot afford an Android or cannot afford an iOS phone that has a, that has a good performance. So the performance we have here is actually worse on Androids for the same price, uh, price or what we found in most of the things that we build. So the markets where we want to have this, we want to replace old Nokia phones, or not necessarily Nokia, but old feature phones. We want to give you phone, uh, phones that have web connectivity without having to break the bank. But anything else works like a normal phone. I can take my pictures. I can take a picture of this chair here, for example, with my finger on the camera, like you normally do. And once I've taken that picture, I can actually go to my, ca go to my gallery. I've got the picture in there now. I go back to my gallery, or I can take the link next to it as well, and can start cropping and editing that image. So this image is now here. And I can say, oh, I don't like it, it's actually not light enough. So I actually lighten it up a bit by putting that here. Of course, it's doing things to me now. I can put effects on it, make it, make it blue, make it sepia. I can crop the picture. I can do that, say I'm done, and it's stored it, to my, uh, stored it into my gallery next to my other photos. So if I now go back, you see that I've taken a few pictures of that, but this was the last one that we cropped right now. So what we're doing with this is bring the web connectivity and the freedom that Firefox brought to the web to the mobile market. You should not have to actually be on the back end call of one app store and wonder when they will shut down the app that you like. If the app is on the web, it will be available on Firefox OS. And this is what we're doing with Firefox OS. The phones are available this year, and we have lots and lots of partners that we go live with. And I'm, as a developer, ex extremely excited about it. Because a year ago, this was an empty repository on GitHub. Now I've got a phone in my hand. All right, thanks for that. But uh, don't get me wrong, it looks pretty much like Android, doesn't it? Well, why would we reinvent the wheel when it comes to interaction for the user? People are expecting apps, so we give them apps and we give them icons that you can slide left and right. You could build your own operating system on that. You could build your own interface that's a circular interface. That's another thing. As a, as a phone provider or as a, a, as, a, as a hardware provider, I can build my own Firefox OS interface. It does not have to look the same everywhere. That's the main differentiator as well. I can't do that in iOS or in Android. So we allow you to do it, but we get, out of the box, we gave you something that looks familiar because we don't want to scare people. All right, great. Thanks a lot.